Hello and welcome to part 2 of the Introduction to Time Series Forecasting videos. In this video, I'll demonstrate the use of exponential smoothing control charts. Statistical process control for autocorrelated processes have typically used the exponentially weighted moving average one step ahead forecast model. The time series model forecasts the motion in the mean and an individual's control chart is plotted of the residuals to detect assignable causes. Failure to account for positive autocorrelation will produce limits that are too narrow, resulting in excessive false alarms. Failure to account for negative autocorrelation will produce limits that are too wide, resulting in misses. An accurate forecast for your time series means that the residuals will most often have the right properties to correctly apply a control chart, thus leading to an improved control chart with reduced false alarms and misses. Within Sigma Excel, in addition to creating an individual's control chart for residuals, a moving limits chart is included, which uses the one-step prediction as the center line, so the control limits move with the center line. The popular Add Data, Show Last 30, and Scroll features in Sigma Excel chart tools are available for these control charts. For Add Data, the time series models are not refitted, but used to compute the residual values for the new data. For further details and references, see the Sigma Excel workbook. We'll start this video by taking a look at the same data set used in the first part of the series, Chemical Concentration, Series A, from Box and Jenkins, which is a set of 197 concentration values taken at two-hour intervals. In the previous video, we demonstrated that this process has significant autocorrelation. We'll construct an individual's chart on the raw data to view the impact on a control chart. Click Sigma Excel, Control Charts, Individuals. Select Concentration and click Numeric Data Variable Y. Click OK. There are 17 out of control data points, largely due to the autocorrelation. Searching for assignable causes using this chart, as is, would be futile. Click the Sheet 1 tab. Click Sigma Excel. Time Series Forecasting, Exponential Smoothing Control Chart, Control Chart. Select Concentration and click Numeric Time Series Data, Y. We will run with the Exponential Smoothing Control Chart defaults, so leave the check mark in the box beside Display ACF, PACF, and LB plots. Leave Display Residual Plots, Specify Model Periods, Seasonal Frequency, and Box Cox Transformation unchecked. Click Model Options. Select Specify Model. We will use the default Error Additive and Trend None, which is a simple exponential smoothing model or exponentially weighted moving average. Click OK to return to the Exponential Smoothing Control Chart dialog. Click OK. The Exponential Smoothing Control Charts are produced. The top chart is the individual's control chart on the residuals from exponential smoothing forecast, which has removed the autocorrelation. The residuals are approximately normally distributed with a rough straight line on the normal probability plot. There are no obvious patterns in the data. The ACF plot demonstrates that all the autocorrelation has been removed by the model, which indicates a good fit to the time series data. But now, we only have two out of control data points on the individual's chart to investigate. The moving limits chart uses the one step prediction as the center line, so the control limits move with the center line. To get a closer look, you can scroll through the chart data points. Click Sigma Excel Chart Tools, enable scrolling. The scroll dialog appears, allowing you to specify the start subgroup and window width. Enter start subgroup of 40 and window width of 30 to view the two out of control data points. This allows us to zoom in and out of the control points at 43 and 64. Observation 43 is lower than expected from the exponential smoothing forecast model. Observation 64 is higher than expected. Scrolling allows for a clean visual on a specific section of the individual's and moving limits charts. You can pan left or right to review subgroups which occur before or after the subgroup specified in the Enable Scrolling dialog box. Click Cancel to exit the scroll dialog. 
Now, I'll add a new data point to the Series A concentration data. The residuals will be computed using the same model without re-estimation of the model parameters or recalculation of the control limits. This is also known as the Phase 2 application of a control chart, where an out-of-control signal should lead to an investigation into the assignable cause and corrective action or process adjustment applied. Click the Sheet 1 tab. Scroll down to the end of the data and enter 198 as the new observation number in cell A199 and 19 as the value in cell B199. Click the Exponential Smoothing Control Charts tab. Click Sigma Excel Chart Tools. Add data to this control chart. The Residuals Individuals Control Chart and Moving Limits Charts are now updated with the new data, showing this is an out of control data point. Also note that the control limits have not been recalculated. This concludes part two of the time series forecasting with Sigma Excel video. In the next video, I'll be demonstrating time series forecasting with seasonal data, so be sure to check it out whenever you can. For more videos, visit www.sigmaxl.com or join us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.